This is from Greenfin Farms. Um, we're about to get started working on a quarter acre of land we've acquired for a market garden. However, the land is down here in North Texas. The soil is heavy clay and we have a weed problem. Uh, Stephen Cornett in San Diego also has Bermuda grass issues, uh, which are near impossible to eradicate entirely. Otherwise, it's a good piece of land. What's the best way to get started on this property? Do we need to get a tractor and do a till up? If so, how much compost would we need to amend the soil? We're looking at potentially um, 60, 50 foot beds. Do we need to till it all or could we cover it and wait for nature to take the course? So in Texas, um, it's different because you're like a zone in North Texas. I think you are at least a zone 7B or 8 maybe. Um, just going off the top of my head. Um, so I would, if it was, if you're asking me, which you are, I would just go in aggressively. I wouldn't take the time. Um, I know Stephen Cornett did his, his uh, cover mulch thing. I think it's a neat idea. Um, I think I'm just too impatient for that. And I just don't want to do that much work. So if it was me, I would just hire somebody with a tractor in the area and just come and rip it. Um, and so not till come in with a ripper, like one of those, uh, cultivators, just the big shanks. And if you got Bermuda grass in there and it's a quarter acre, isn't that much, I would go in and rip it and that's going to loosen everything up. You can go and start pulling out Bermuda grass, depending on how hard packed the soil is. Uh, the best time to do it would be if it rained within the last couple days and the soil was soft, but not, uh, muddy. You never want to till when soil is muddy. That's a disaster. You'll destroy your soil. Um, or we're not talking about tilling anyways, but you, you don't, you don't want to do too much ripping on, on soil. That's, that's soaking wet, but if it's moist and it can be broken up, it would be a good time to do it, go in, rip it. And then you could come out and start forking out Bermuda grass. I've done like I've done this myself on a quarter acre plot. I used to lease a quarter acre, just kind of a little on the outskirts of the downtown. And um, I did this exact same thing. I had a neighbor come in with a tractor. He ripped it. Then I went in and it took me days uh, with one other guy helping me. And we we put out we pulled out all the main rhizomes of the Bermuda grass. And then I tilled with my BCS to form out the beds. And then from there, you are going to continue to work that grass out over time, but you're just going to do it. Even if you have a crop seeded in there uh, and, you're, and you, your soil's loose, you can go in and gently put a fork in. I've probably showed this dozens of times on my YouTube channel and my vlogs in the early days and just like tease that root out and it just comes out. Um, that's kind of what you have to do with, with Bermuda grass and quack grass and all that stuff. Um, as far as compost goes, I can't do, I, I won't try to do the calculation for you live here, but I would say, you know, you probably only need an inch of good compost on those beds. So just calculate. So if it's a 30 inch by 50 feet, I think that's 67 and a half square feet. So that's your measurement times, uh, what did you say? 60, right? So that is going to be your total here I am doing the measurements for you because it's it's fairly easy. 67.5 times, is it what you said? 60, yeah. So your total square footage is 4,050 um, square feet. Just Google soil calculator and then you'll get a website that, that you can just put in the square footage and then how much uh, depth you want to add and then it'll tell you the amount of yards. My guess off the top of my head is that will be, I don't know, 10 yard, 10 to 20 yards or something like that. could be totally wrong, but, but you can figure it out. It's fairly easy to do. So that's what you do. And I, you know, I would shape out all your beds first, let them settle, even till them again, work out a bit more of the grass. And then when you feel like you've done enough of it, then put your compost on tarp all the beds you're not going to immediately plant and then uh only keep the th uh j the open beds that you're going to plant and then untarp the beds as you move down into succession probably in a few months you'll have hit a wall where you don't have any more beds to plant and then you're going to start circling back to the first ones you planted hopefully those will be spent or harvested by that time then you're going to start re-amending your soil um, at that point you could probably just use a compact fertilizer like a 
uh, chick, tur- composted chicken manure or something like that to refertilize some base nitrogen in the soil. Uh, you don't necessarily have to add more compost and then you can replant. And that's kind of where you would start with it. So hope that helps.